Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be unboxing Laura the Charm of Faded Hues. Now this is my first time buying Toy City and also my first time buying Laura and I got a full case. So I think that really speaks volumes as to how beautiful this set is. Look at the box, it's so nice. I like the black and white color, it's very simple yet very elegant. And turning over to the side, we see 12 basic designs. Okay, there's 11 here and then one in front. So the one in front is called Snowy White and there's 11 basic ones over here and then a secret. The secret's actually pretty cool. It's color changing, so it would be nice if we get it, but it's okay if we don't because the rest of the characters look really good together as a set. So I don't mind getting just the basic designs today. Box one. Oh, it opens up from the other side compared to Pop Mart. Pop Mart opens up from the left. And Toy Series foil is gold, rose gold color. First figurine of the day is Clustered Serenity. This is a card. I like how she has this porcelain finish. Reminds me of the Skull Panda series. I think it's called the Warmth. Yeah, Skull Panda's Warmth series also has this sort of shiny finishing. I think it looks really good. I like her polka dot skirt, and she's wearing a pearl necklace. She's giving off very classy vibes. This is how she looks like on the back. And from what I know, all Laura figurines come with the same stand, so I think they'll all look pretty good displayed together. Box 2. I'm sorry if you hear thunder. It's about to rain here. So the thunder is ringing loudly outside my window. Oh! <gasps> this is my favorite! This one is Rippling Flirtations. This is a card. My goodness, she looks so good. I love the roses on her hat. I have a thing for these big hats. I think they just look so classy and very elegant. Turning her around. Ooh, there's a Laura word on her hat. There's just something about this series that's so simple and elegant that really drew me to it. You don't have to have complicated colors for the figurine to look good, and I really appreciate that. Box number three. Whoa! She reminds me of Lady Gaga. <laughs> this one is Nature Brushstrokes. This is a card. Truly living up to her name. She does have ink splashes on her pants. I think it looks pretty cool. Gives off a dynamic view. And she's got a really pointy hat. This one's a plain design, but she gives off a very elegant look as well. Fourth box. We're having sound effects at the back. The thunder is really loud. This one is Withered Shadow. This is a card. And I noticed that her shirt, or actually this kind of looks like a tea pao. Basically in Chinese culture, we have this traditional wear called tea pao. So she looks like she's wearing one of this and it says Ruo La on her tea pao, which actually is the Chinese translation for Laura. And her tea pot is translucent, so half solid, half translucent. Pretty fashionable. Box number five. Oh! <gasps> wow, she's so pretty. This one is snowy white. I think she's my favorite. Oh my goodness. Even though she's just wearing white, she 
looks so elegant. And she's holding a little tulip in her hand. And she's wearing one of these super big hats again. Maybe that's why I find her so appealing. Wow, this is so nice. I don't even have words to describe how nice it is. Just, just enjoy it. Wow. Box number five. This one is Feigned Trace. And this is her card. Her hair kind of reminds me of cacti. Look, it's spiky. She's wearing a mini crown. It's kind of cute. And she has really puffy sleeves. And I think this is the Laura symbol. Let's turn her around. The figurines are so shiny, I love them. Box number seven. Whoa, another big hat. This one is called Misty Strings. This is the card. She has a really big hat as well. And she is wearing a very interesting dress. And knee-high boots. Oh, her hat has the Laura print as well. Box number eight. Just an update. It is raining. So we are going to be hearing more thunder now. Whoa. Ah. This one is called Whispering Iris. And this is her card. I like her braid. She's holding onto it. She's so cute. And she has a very big ribbon on top of her hair. And I'm not sure if this is an iris on her dress. If I'm not mistaken, her dress is leaves. That's pretty nice detail. Nice. Box number nine. I don't think we're faded with the secret today. This is Sylvan Bloom. And this is her card. I like this flower looking design in front. It's very futuristic. Ooh, she has long black hair. That looks so good. I wish I had black hair that looked like that. And she's wearing pearl earrings. And I don't even know how to describe this headdress. But it just looks cool. Box number 10. Cute. This is Unopened Petals. This is a card. I don't know. Do these petals look unopened to you? They look like normal petals to me. Oh, I love her pigtails. And her pearl looking hair ties. That's so cute. And on the top of her headband, it has the word Laura. It's a nice detail. And right in the middle of her dress, she has a flower print, but I'm not sure what flower it is. Box 11. Oh, this is my favorite one. This one is Fragrant Trail. Here's a card. I love the huge flower on top of her head. It's so nice. Wow, she's so pretty. Actually, it kind of looks like plum blossoms. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's plum blossoms. That's so awesome. And there is a Laura right in the middle. All right, last one. This is called River Serenade. This is a card. I can't make out what the headdress is supposed to be. It's kind of big. It's 
what is this supposed to be? Feathers? I'm confused. <laughs> and she's wearing a rose, rosy colored pearl necklace. That's a little bit different from all the other ones. All the other ones were wearing white pearls. And she has very interesting tights, indeed. <laughs> this looks like a very futuristic character as well. Alright everyone, this is how all the figurines look like displayed together. They look so good, I don't regret buying the full set. And hopefully I managed to convince some of you guys to buy this series because I think this is so underrated. I've not seen a lot of videos of people unboxing this series so I really hope that through this video I can spread some of its popularity because this is really a series worth collecting. Okay guys, thank you all for sticking by and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!